The Croatian coast of the Adriatic is beautiful, and many itineraries to the country include both Split and Dubrovnik. However, due to complicated reasons, there's actually no domestic land route between the two cities, though Croatia is quite controversially constructing a route. Depending on your point of view, the joke can go either way. But Bosnia-Herzegovina owns a 20-kilometer stretch of the coast, requiring two border crossings and passport checks, and being stuck on a bus for hours. Alternatively, one can fly, but I'm covering Croatia Airlines in the next video. But it's only fitting that in this maritime-dominated coastline that I take a boat. What's it like to cruise the Adriatic amongst the Croatian islands? Let's find out on this trip on the Krilo Lux between Dubrovnik and Split. In the summer, there's two different companies that operate the route, Krillo and Jadrolinia. For no particular reason, I picked Krillo this time. I bought the tickets online for 240 kunas, or $38 for the one-way trip. The modern ferry port of Dubrovnik is outside of the old town, which you'll need to take a bus to. There's several cafes around the square, and the official port facilities themselves are pretty quaint. Our boat was already there when I arrived. The Krillo Lux is a new vessel, built in 2019, carrying 428 passengers with a top speed of 36 knots, which makes it not particularly high speed or lux in my eyes, to be honest. Boarding began 30 minutes prior to departure, and baggage was stored in bins by destination, but unlike in Greece, the crew loaded it for you. The main deck was configured in a 3-4-4-3 layout, and one immediate issue was that the windows were caked in salt, which made it difficult to see out of. There were charging ports at every other row by the window, so pick your seat accordingly. The upper deck had both an open air section as well as a smaller cabin, but for whatever reason it was locked when we boarded. At some point it was unlocked and I moved upstairs once I was able to. We pushed back from the dock one minute early and passed the yachts at anchor and the Franjo Tudman Bridge, and headed northwest. We passed between islands and the coast for a bit before heading out to sea. The entire journey time from Dubrovnik to Split was 4 hours and 25 minutes. One hour and 15 minutes later, we reached the first stop, the port of Pomena on the island of Mlet. One of the least developed islands, Mlet is best known for having a large national park. We cross back towards the mainland, following the Pelsak Peninsula. On the other side of this landmass is the tiny 20 kilometer stretch of Bosnian coastline. 35 minutes later, we arrived at the old town on Korčla. It's a tiny walled medieval city with a population of less than 5,000. After passing through the channel, we return to the open ocean. Just over an hour after Korsla, we pulled into Far. One of the most popular islands, I came back here for a day trip of hiking and swimming a few days later. If someone says they went to an island in Croatia, chances are it's far. Thirty minutes later, we pulled into the town of Milna on the island of Brač, just as the sun set. Brač is a drier island known for its olive oil and white wine and is far less popular to visit. Thirty minutes after that, we pulled into Split Harbor, surprisingly right on schedule at 5 minutes before 9 p.m. So the Krilo Lux between Dubrovnik and Split. I really enjoyed the trip, and it was a scenic and relaxing way to spend an afternoon. Will I take it again from end to end? Likely not, as flying is easier and faster. But if you're going to or between any of the islands, boats are really your only option, as other than Dubrovnik and Split, only Brač has a handful of seasonal flights and only to Zagreb. Speaking of flights, Split marks the end of this particular trip, but there's three flights needed to get back home. 
so we'll be returning to the skies. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click that button and please subscribe for many more flight reviews to come as well as some other content like this. I'll see you next time for an early morning flight on Croatia Airlines.